Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I turned $500 into $10,000 using one very simple trading strategy. Before we get into the video, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow this channel to 5,000 subscribers. If each of you guys subscribe to the channel, it would be a massive benefit to the growth of this channel. Now let's get into the video. Alright guys, let's get into it. Uh, so we got trading view pulled up. Let's go ahead and launch a chart here. So with this strategy, really just focus on indexes, uh, SPY, QQQ, uh, mega cap tech stocks, really anything with really, really massive volume. Um, we'll go ahead and launch the S&P 500, the SPY. And with this strategy, I just use one indicator. Um, and I use it differently than how most people use it. It's a really common indicator that's used, but I use it differently. So it's the moving average convergence divergence. Okay. And how most people use this is um, seeing changes in trend here. So for example, a cross here with a bearish histogram here, price comes down, falls, cross here signaling a change in trend now price begins to increase here again another cross signaling a new bearish trend and so on and so on um, and that's effective way to use it um, i use it on occasion but not specifically with this strategy um, with this strategy i actually use what's called divergence from price so let's see if I can find an example and it's actually pretty rare that we see it and that's part of the difficulty but it's a very simple strategy uh, here's a good example of it so look at price here price is trading between support and resistance so we could call it a supply and demand zone um, whatever you want to call it price is trading flat here um, and I want you to take a look at what the MACD is doing the MACD is going upwards so it's trading in an upward direction on a new bullish trend with a bullish histogram here but again look at price it's flat you don't normally see that like look at this for example across here price goes up across here price goes down but here we're seeing flat price with an upward um, bullish trend and the idea here is this is a divergence from price this is a bearish divergence from price so the concept is when this MACD then crosses to go bearish right here for example the price could be more aggressive downward which it was that's the whole concept so this in theory is your short signal for that specific strategy I was options trading it's less important on the specifics of you know what option strikes I take and stuff and I can talk about that in another video what's more important is understanding how this strategy works and then so this would then signal signal me to buy um, puts here so at the cross of the MACD here you you take a put position to the downside and you saw significant selling pressure very significant selling pressure all the way down from it went from 381 down to 356 uh, in really just a few days so that could have been a very effective trade and again this doesn't come around often this this divergence from price it rarely rarely comes around um, let's see if we can find another one um, this time for a bullish example um, yeah here's a great example right here um, let's see if I can draw something out um, something like this again some sort of supply and demand zone support and resistance whatever you want to call it trading flat price is relatively trading flat this is a big divergence um, and then look at the MACD again. You had a massive bearish divergence from price, a really big one, over the course of multiple days. So you had con really consolidation 
And then the MACD continued to signal bearish trend um, while price stayed really flat. And just like the last one, this is just opposite of the last one. This is a bullish divergence. Once it crosses from bearish to bullish here, that's your signal to buy, in, in this case, calls. And let's see how far it went. We saw it from 417 up to 432 again in just a few days. So that, that could have been another huge trade. Um, and guys, really, it's it's that simple. The, the issue is how rare it seems to come. Because again, we're looking at the hourly chart here. And so, you know, just a few candles is, is an entire day. So um, I know these two seem to be pretty close but still I mean that that's a week apart um, so it's not super high volume it's more of being very patient waiting for the right opportunities to present themselves and then taking advantage um, of those opportunities and again it goes in both directions you can find bullish divergence from price where MACD falls price stays flat and it's important to keep in mind that price could go up while the MACD goes down. That's still divergence, and that would still signal potential more upside. These two examples, they're just staying flat. Still great examples. This bearish example, MACD going up, price staying flat, price falls aggressively. MACD going down, price stays flat. You got that cross, price goes up aggressively. Um, and again, it's really that simple. You can use it in a few different time frames. Um, you know, the hour is a great time frame for swing trading. Uh, 15 minutes is even a great time frame for swing trading. It's just a lot shorter. Um, but um, you could day trade this strategy. And I've done it before on numerous occasions um, on the five minute chart. Um, so you use the five minute chart. Um, and you can use this strategy as well. And it's a very effective strategy. So um take a look at it guys um it's um a great strategy again the only issue is is the finding it on very rare occasion um so go ahead and and um, add the macd to your chart you can use it in a lot of ways the most popular way is signaling trend changes but i like to use it for um finding divergence from price so i hope you guys find that useful um guys please like comment subscribe love to hear from you guys and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video.